This past year has been a tumultuous year for our nation, and I confess for me as an individual as well, I experienced a kind of awakening. It was hard awakening. The deaths of George Floyd and Ahmaud Arbery, Breonna Taylor, amongst others, landed on me like a bolt of lightning. It was jarring, disorienting, horrifying. I couldn't stop thinking about it. Their deaths enraged me, broke my heart. Out of that came a desire to know more. How did we get to this place? Why does this keep happening? Why is this experience of so many people of color, particularly black men and women in, in our country? And it launched me on a pursuit of understanding racial justice. One of the things that you suggest people do, you suggest that people study and explore their own racial identity. Never thought of that before, never occurred to me, and I thought it would be simple. It's been fascinating and heartbreaking, and I've had kind of like mind-blowing moments as I, it's been amazing. A year ago, I would have said I was a highly sensitive person, a compassionate person. I would have been guilty of saying, I don't see color. I wasn't raised in a racist atmosphere. I am not a racist. I love everybody. Wow, that sounded really arrogant. I'm telling you what I thought about myself and yes, how God true. kind of smote me. <laughs> Last year exposed some things in me that I didn't like. I didn't realize we're there. I didn't realize how blind. I didn't realize how tunnel vision. I didn't realize that I was interpreting every single thing every single day through the lens of a white woman. I was blind. It was something I could have given intellectual assent to. Oh, yes, people are different. My neighbor is different than I'm different. My husband is different than I am. But to truly live that out, I can say I didn't. I have a new way of seeing. It does in some ways feel like a Damascus Road experience where scales have fallen off my eyes. I have immersed myself in so many books, so many podcasts, talking to people like you, following people on social media that I had never heard of a year ago. They link to this and I link to that and I'm chasing down. But I didn't realize that I had actually changed in a way that I could measure until just this weekend. I was watching a movie with my grandkids and my family. And the opening scene is here's a 17 year old white teenager. He's running, being chased by a single police officer. And they're running through the dark streets and he is running, running. The, the cop is yelling at him, stop, stop, stop. And he keeps running and he jumps over, you know, it's all this big drama. And finally, I guess the kid trips and the cop corners him up against a wall and throws some handcuffs on him and says, you really didn't think that you could steal a cop car and get away with it, did you? It was everything I could do with my little grandkids. So I couldn't go, <gasps> but internally I had one of those mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, if he had been a 17 year old of color, there is very little chance that A, there would have been just a single cop chasing him, two, that the outcome wouldn't have been very different, and three, a year ago, six months ago, I wouldn't have even skipped a beat. Yeah. But I couldn't look at it the same. Mm. Suddenly I had a new awareness. This is not the reality of millions of Americans. So I not only saw it differently, but in that moment, I also was looking at it through the lens of if I had been a mom or dad of color sitting there watching that movie with my family, I, my heart would have been in my throat because I would have put my own child in that place. And it would have been so personal in that moment that my child might not have survived that moment if that were so. I walked away going, awareness has changed. Mm. I have changed. And it gave me a lot of hope. It gave me a lot of hope for myself. Such a tiny little thing. But I got it instantly. Mm -hmm. I got it instantly. And I wouldn't have gotten it a few months ago.
When I was really diving into this awareness, reading a lot, trying to listen to a lot of people of color, there were some thoughts and ideas that I was exposed to that I was not familiar with. I was actually offended at first. And then I, when I understood what was being said, I wasn't offended. I was enlightened. There was a knowledge that made sense to me but I'm not sure I can explain it very well to other people. So maybe somebody who's watching might really benefit from hearing you explain this idea of white. that white is not a race. Am I saying that right? Am I um, saying, am I putting it in the right term? Well, that, the racism, would, that whiteness as a race is like, as a racial construct is it's kind of a distortion of you help. See, I can't even say it very well. <laughs> help me. Yeah, I mean, this is, this is why there's really work to do to understand race, racism, white supremacy, these concepts in terms that we hear so often, we think we really know what it's about. There's whole fields of study dedicated to these topics. And so number one, it makes sense that we wouldn't know everything. And number two, we also need to dedicate ourselves pretty intentionally to learning more about it.